and welcome everyone this is Lion and you're watching Fox Lion 6 so today we're gonna be starting fresh we're gonna be starting with a new series of a new game we are gonna be playing Gothic 3 now Gothic is actually an older game but it's nonetheless one of my personal favorite games that I played a while ago and honestly I fell in love with the game like I just I just love the open world I love the epic music which you probably have been hearing already it really adds to that effect especially when you're having an epic boss battle and you're killing something like a really powerful creature and you have that good music going in the background really get you going I just love how there's a big map there's like there's a lot to explore a lot of uh, equipment there's a lot of items in the game I just loved it and I really hope that after this, uh, as you're watching and play this series, I hope you will like it too. If you are interested in getting this game, it is available on Steam. Along in a, uh, it is also available in a package with its standalone expansion, which is Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods. So let's actually start off. So we're in this, and so we're in the um, the first skirmish that takes place. And before we get into the fight with everybody, we're just gonna take a look at our HD really quickly. As you can see, there is um. In your number one, there's a sword, two is a torch, three is a bow, then you have arrows in your four, and then potions in five. In your bottom left, you have your a compass, and then you have your three bars on the bottom right, which are your health, um, which are your health, stamina, and mana. That is in respect from bottom to top, which of course is uh, health on the top, followed by stamina under that, and then mana under that. So let's take out our sword and let's do some fighting. So combat isn't really complicated in this game. It is more or less very straightforward. You have a left click, which is like a uh, like your more powerful basic attack, and then of course on top of that you have your um, your right click for the second. It's like your quicker. It's, it's better to use if you're low on stamina. So we're actually gonna you want to fight two more guys at the same time. So let's fight. Let's fight this boss. He looks like a tougher guy to face. Oh shit. My health is actually getting low. I don't want to mess up and die already. Alright, so I'm actually okay. So I'm actually a bit safe. We're going to take a potion just to be safe. Alright, so now we have higher health. Let's go back to the fight. So yeah, like I said, fighting's not really complicated. You just want to avoid moments where enemies can get you stun lock. Or since the orcs are actually really strong, their charge attacks can actually break your guard. And of course you can hold the guard if you're holding your right click. Like, as you can see right here, I look like more on a guard stance. And of course this actually gets better when you have a shield and you can actually block a lot more attacks and receive a lot less damage. Basically, if you want to fight more effectively, you want to like combo, you want to combo your left clicks and your right clicks to get a com to get a better combination. Oh, we're actually not going to talk to him yet because the, the village is not, the fight really isn't over. Their fight might be, but mine isn't. Alright, now let's fight now. There seems to be a lot more stuff. If you want to hold, actually, I forgot to tell you, if you're uh, holding ship, you can sprint. Yeah, he's trying to fight and be safe. Try to take a, um, the least amount of hits you can. If you find yourself dying a lot, until you get used to the combat, you might. So just make sure you're safe. There seems to be, yeah. If you hold, if you hold, um, uh, right click, like if you're holding a guard and then you hold left click to charge an attack, you'll actually perform a stab. And if you actually nail the stab, it'll actually stun them for a little while as they're recovering from the stab. Um, I see, that's what you want to do. You want to hold that guard, but they can also break through the guard if they use a charge attack. So just make sure you're being smart. Trying to get him into a corner and make him easier to kill. Now we're going to take a health potion again because we don't want to die. The orcs are notorious for doing a lot of damage because of their very powerful weapons. They're, they're kind of the slow attackers, but if they hit you with that strike and they also have the power to break your guard with charge attacks, you just got to be careful about that. Also, try not to sprint a lot in battle because you need that stamina to perform your attacks at optimal speed. Uh, I'm dead too. Every time you kill somebody, you're going to get experience, and obviously tougher guys will give you better experience. Alright, so... 
really, and you also want to look at your opponent too. If he's doing a charge attack, see if you can dodge it, and if you actually get it. Oh, we actually captured it. You can actually tell um, you've captured a village when you hear this epic uh, battle music, like this victory music, and you hear the orc shout retreat, and as you can see, they're kind of running away. Um, so that's good. This is actually a very good sign. And in order to uh, cement this victory, we're actually going to save this game. You're going to see I actually have um, other save games from other games i played, but those are actually really, really old games. As you can see, it's from 2014, which is two years ago. So that's the last time I really played this game. And um, so, yeah. But now, since the um, place is taken over, now we can actually explain more and further details. So first of all, to loot, it's very simple. You actually have unlimited inventory space in this game, which I actually really like because there's nothing worse than being over and covered, especially when you find a really nice item and you have a bunch of good items in your inventory that you really don't want to drop. So you can loot just by everybody. That's why you really have, it's really good to loot the spoils of war, especially when you uh, free a village. Um, every, more or less, almost everything that you guys are carrying can be looted. Um, so you have weapons on the ground, you have people to loot. So let's just loot these things. All right. Of course, gold, weapons, this is all very helpful to have. You can all sell this for money. Um, that guy had some meat on him, also very good. Just look around in general. More or less everything you can find is good. And the good thing is once you take over a city, you have a limited amount of time before it's reoccupied by another faction. Depending on who you're helping, you can actually get some food, you can open some chests, get some loot. Like, here's some wine that's hidden in the bar. You can get this casket. Bread is always good. Bread uh, heals you, obviously, being food. So now that's one building. This, I believe, is more of a... Yeah, this is a storage facility, so you're going to find some good stuff in here. And we find some lock picks, a potion against disease, which this obviously cures you from disease, which you'll probably see later in the game as I fight more exotic creatures that actually can give you disease if you get hit by them. Um, here's another disease potion. This is an endurance potion. So if you're ever low on your yellow bar, um, you can drink this potion to refill all your yellow bar. But for most situations, it's not worth it. Of course, if you're stacking potions, you can take it and you probably won't care, but like... Stamina regenerates at a pretty good rate in normal situations, so just have patience and you'll be fine. This is actually a statue of Enos, um, and I'll actually tell you what these statues are, uh, what these religious statues are a little bit later. But first, we just want to get to looting the uh, the village so that we can actually get going and I can explain a little bit more. So another axe. Fortunately, some slaves died in the process, but. Such is war, and that, I guess, is how things work. So more or less, you want to go into every house and loot every chest that you possibly can. You'll never know when you find some good items, or some helpful ones that might be better. You can find some materials. Um, hmm, nothing really worth much. This is a taller tower. Let's see if there's any good stuff in here. This is actually a tougher chest, and let me tell you something. If you see a metal chest or a chest like this. It looks obviously a little bit different than those wooden chests. This is gonna take a lock pick. And lock picking obviously comes in three levels, which I'll show you in the skills list later on. And right now we actually can pick this one. Our skill level is sufficient. But if you find a chest, there's actually a coral staff. That's actually pretty good for you. Like staffs, you can use that. Uh, there's a ring of endurance, a potion of terror, raw steel, that's some pretty good stuff. Um, these chests usually contain better loot than the normal uh, wooden chest that we've been seeing, the typical chest looking things, but we, um, there's, a, there's a certain advantage and we can actually pick these ones, but if your skill level is not sufficient enough, it'll actually tell you you cannot pick this, it's too hard. And um, that's just an indication. See, as you can see, that this chest over here is far different in appearance than these ones. And that basically just tells you that there's probably something better in those chests. And of course, the tougher the chest is to pick, the better the rewards are inside for the most part. So let's loot these two chests. Um, of course, if you want to access your inventory, you just press I. Um, you can read these tips, of course, um, if you just pause the video. But since I know them, I'll just explain it to you in my own words. So in your first one, you have your weapons tab. This obviously contains all the weapons you've looted. 
um so all your axes swords arrows staffs uh everything that's contained there then you if you move over to your armor section all your shields armor sets rings necklaces everything that gives you defensive stats will appear here your third tab is your magic object all your so all your scrolls and magical mythical objects will appear here moving over this is your food and potions so all the plants you gather all the food you gather all the potions you gather will appear here and your last one is more or less your miscellaneous items so these are the ones you can sell for for junk money they just you just collect them for money really or they could also be your gold obviously that's very important and your lock picks which are also used same with your torches so not everything is junk so don't sell everything i'm just saying that um a lot of it will be but some of it of course is useful so just remember that uh so oh, this guy he got he got killed in the roof he really had no mercy um, now actually we'll go up these stairs to see if we can find anything in this, um, this tower here. Pretty nice view of the open world. I'll show you the map later, because I actually don't, I don't think I have one. Yeah, I actually don't have the map yet. You'll, you'll get it soon. But, um, the map of this, of Gothic is actually pretty large. Mertana really is a large place. And then, of course, you have two other I would call them more or less some um, other provinces really of the entire uh, world. There's actually Nordmar to the north, which is like the Arctic place. But and then there's Varen to the south, which is the desert. And those are all very important. Um, oh, actually a quick note is that if you see a chest that has like a whited out name like this one, that means there's nothing in it. So you can save yourself time. You don't have to go through the animation of opening it and closing it and all that other stuff. So that's just a quick tip if you're looting. Um, so I'm going to take all the stuff you can. We're basically back to the center. We've looted most of the places. Um, so we're just finishing up with the final couple of orcs to loot. And of course, we got to loot these houses. Very important. There's the orc boss. He's actually the guy who gives us the map, so we're just gonna loot him in a second. We just gotta pick up these this equipment. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. More videos will come out in the future, and I hope you guys enjoy. See ya.